Yo, what's going on everyone? Back today, another trip to the thrift video. Uh, can't remember what number this is, but I'm back and finally I'm doing a trip to the thrift video. I haven't done these in a while just because I um, haven't been going so much, but I've just come back from a big, uh, a big trip to the thrifts. So I thought I would uh, show you what I found because I did actually find some decent stuff. Um, so I'm going to be recording the video after this, which uh, I'll probably be wearing the same stuff, um, which is going to be the other half of this stuff, because I've got quite a lot to show and I don't just want to do it all in one video because otherwise I'll upload one and then I'll upload another video till next week. So I thought I'd split it into two shorter videos um, and yeah, cool, so we will get into the items. I quickly just want to say, um, I've been thinking about, because obviously to do trip to thrift videos I have to actually go to the shops so and while I'm doing that I can't go all the time and maybe just to mix things up on the channel a little bit I'm thinking about doing um, a couple of different series so my first idea was to do like either every week or every every month or something at the end of the week or end of the month I would do like a little a little small video showing you like my like top three profits that I made in that month um, just so people get an idea of what how much you can actually make doing this so I'll just pick like my three most profitable items um, and then another item. so let me know if you want to if you would be interested in that uh, also another idea I had was that um, I would show my top finds of the week or probably probably the month top finds of the month um just because i think that that might like instead of having to watch all my videos you can find what i personally thought was my best finds of that month and my third and final idea was i've seen it done before um just instead of top thrift finds of the month just be like my monthly pickup so um like my favorite few items that i bought this month either for well yeah for my purse like for my personal self or just um my favorite things that i picked up in that month so if you like any of them ideas please let me know because i would like to start bringing out more videos because i've been slacking recently but i'm back so we'll get onto the items now stay tuned right so uh, all of this stuff uh i uh, not well i was gonna say all this stuff i got from the same place and a lot of it i did I picked up about ten, I don't know, about eight items in the same place um, for about I'm not I'm not really sure about an average of like two pound an item or just a bit more. I gave like a little bit extra just because I thought I'd be nice. Um, so anyway, to start off, got a pair of shoes. Um, so I only really buy shoes if they are um, decent. And oh, well, obviously, I'm not just going to buy a pair of shit shoes. And I actually have. Just that just reminded me. I need. There's another thing. There's another pair of shoes that I haven't shown yet, which I need to show. So that'll be in the next video. Stay tuned. They are a very nice pair of shoes. They are on my Instagram and stuff. Anyway, first pair of shoes. Uh, I just had this pair of Nike, Nike uh, black and white Stefan Janowski's. Um, so just got the. I don't know if you can see that the lighting's a bit odd. So yeah, just decent. Like these are really nice. I was actually gonna buy these myself, like uh, like a year back, but um, like there was like an all black limited edition one that they had with like green something. Um, so yeah, I just saw these, and the person said that they wanted like three quid for them. So I gave them three quid. I actually gave them a fiver for them because I thought um, thought I'd be nice and round it up. So yeah, they're not actually that worn. If you see on the See on the bottom, I don't know if the line's gonna show that very well. They're not too worn and they're not bad at all. Like they've got hair on them, but a little clean, um, make them look a bit nicer and nice, nice pick up there. Uh, as I don't really find shoes that much. Uh, next up, I've got two of, they're actually, uh, these are kind of like the same. I'm not sure if they're the same size. But anyway, uh, if you haven't heard this brand, it's called Henry Lloyd. Um, so this is like a really vintage piece so they they have newer stuff but the vintage stuff's really nice so you can see here it's kind of like a tan here with uh, navy color here and like navy details so it's basically like a beige and navy um, 
beige and navy colorway and then in the middle you've got this really nice embroidered henry lloyd spell out there uh it doesn't actually have a size oh it does it has a size medium there with the henry lloyd tag i don't know why they're so far apart that is a bit weird but uh it kind of looks quite big though i reckon it could fit me maybe a large but uh, i will have to try that on uh so i've got that piece and then i've got another piece which i found in they were like next to each other and this one is the same colorway but obviously the dominant color here is the navy so you've got the navy and then you've got the beige in exactly the same pattern with just reversed obviously so you've got the henry lloyd embroidered here and this is a oh this is a large apparently so yeah this looks quite big probably an x7 it's actually really nice it's a a v-neck which i don't usually find but i thought they were quite nice vintagey looking pieces and uh, i thought they'd be a good collection so next up uh, i've got this vintage billabong uh, so this is also another kind of like um beige sort of light color so i just picked this up because i thought this was quite interesting so it's kind of like i don't really know how to describe this it's kind of like um not corduroid or whatever it's called but it's kind of like that sort of material but it's kind of like wool i don't really know how to describe it but it's basically like got lines going down as you can see i don't know if you can see that got lines going down this is kind of like meant to be like a soft soft material it's not like suede but yeah i thought this was really nice and in the middle it's got a navy spell out so this is quite a common theme you've got beige and navy going together got the spell out embroidered there um and then and you can see the tags it looks like it's not really been worn that much to be honest so small very really nice <coughs> oh, sorry uh anyway next item i have is a tommy hilfiger shirt so i try and stay away from shirts now just because um so basically i've got this is all my jackets i've got my like i've got them in sizes on rails and then up there I think I showed in the last video, so I don't know. I've got like boxes of my each size of like t-shirts and shirts. Um, so yeah, I try to stay away from shirts because I have a lot and uh, they kind of tend to sell slower because it's not like, I, I don't really know why, but anyway, black kind of feels like a, a denim, but I know it's not. It's a, uh, it says two ply, 80s two ply cotton. I'll show you. This tag here size large and i was actually thinking about keeping this myself it's nice it's all black you've got a little tommy flag here um and that is all it is really just really nice simple shirt and then to go with that these are actually the two different shops i believe um i picked this up for one pound actually which is quite decent this is a another tommy hill figure shirt it's not gonna there you go uh size medium it's like a denim kind of colour. And then uh, on the pocket here, little Tommy flag. I've actually just noticed when I'm looking at it that there's like a couple of stains on the back. Uh, you won't be able to see, but there's like a couple of little things which I didn't notice, so make sure you check the items, but that's not too much of a big deal. Um, last couple of items now. Um, so this one, it's not something I would usually pick up, um, but I picked it up for my girlfriend just because um, she really likes turtles and she has turtles. She's got a lot of like turtle related things and I thought this is pretty cool. So I thought um, it is just basically like a beige, nice kind of soft material t-shirt with like a turtle in kind of like an aztec -y pattern on the front and then on the back it has a big i didn't realize this it's got a big big turtle here it's uh, just like kind of like screen printed on um and it is a size it's a size extra large and it's kind of wide actually like it does look very wide uh but it's not that kind of short uh, it's not that long so like extra large stuff is usually like wide and kind of like longer but this is this is just uh wide but it's kind of like short um so i picked that up for her so that won't be for sale um finally i have a vintage coca-cola um jump uh what am i going on about a vintage coca-cola t-shirt so coca-cola 
brand and I actually think that might be the vintage tag but I'm not sure but anyway it is like a I thought it looks like a very vintage piece so uh, on the back just has coca-cola there and on the front it says 86 that's like an embroidered like patch the 86 and then screen print it says coca-cola athletic department and it's just like a grey all over with uh, navy hits and I thought that was nice so I picked it up uh, anyway that was all my items um, and uh, I just wanted to say thank you for the support on like Instagram and stuff like that I have one last thing to show which um, which uh, is like a pretty it's not a thrifted item and I, the reason that I'm including it is just because I thought uh, I don't really want this channel to just be fully trip to thrift videos although that is what I've created it to be I want to move it more into so I want to do that but I want to move it more into other fashion aspect uh, things so like streetwear and like uh, other stuff that like other fashion youtubers do but I want to kind of do it a bit differently which is why I don't want to do like videos reacting to like uh, Supreme drop news or Palace drop news just because it's like quite overdone and obviously the bigger the p bigger people who do that they're gonna like overcrowd me anyway so people aren't gonna watch my videos um because who, who really cares what i think about the drops anyway this piece came the other day supreme i copped it from the drop you may have seen it on my instagram uh so i got this online and uh, i managed to get it well obviously i managed to get it but that was uh pretty decent because i didn't think i basically uh, I watch a YouTuber called Magnus Running, and uh, if you, some of you might watch him, but if you're from like America, you might not have heard. But he's like a guy who lives actually quite close to me. Um, but yeah, he recommended that this there was this like auto filler app. That, um, it's like a Chrome plugin, like an auto filler Chrome plugin for Supreme, where you fill out your details and your bank details, and then it like on the drop you just click the item click add to basket and then it automatically buys it for you and i used that uh didn't know if it would actually work it was like a few quid um used it worked and um yeah so i'm hoping to get decent money. i actually really want to keep this but the reason i'm not going to keep it is because uh as i've said like numerous times i'm saving for a car and um I kind of need the money right now, so I can't really be shilling out 150 quid for a jumper. Anyway, I will stop blabbing on, but this is probably my, well, this was my favorite piece of the drop, which is why I copped it. And I got it in my size and it fit, I've tried it on. It fits really, really nice. And uh, this is extra, like an extra reason for me to want to keep it. So I uh, got the Supreme Champion Collaboration uh, black hoodie. So on the front, you just got the Supreme Arch logo with the champion underneath. Probably seen these before. Uh, I'll stand up to get a better. So it's, the lighting's very off here. But on here, you got like the, the typical champion Supreme size extra large, uh, and then on the tagging here says champ champion authentic extra large blah 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 supreme uh and then yeah that is it apart from the nice little champion logo that's on the on the um what would you call this on the arm on the arm that's what i'm going to say so anyway yeah that was just a really nice top uh hoping to the well, i'm that's for sale extra large by the way i've mentioned that if you want it then let me know and uh we can sort out a price i'm trying to get offers of 200 plus on it but um yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather get it gone quickly than wait around for an extra tenner. So um, let me know and uh, check the links in the description for uh, social media. And I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you did, please have a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Uh, lots more videos coming soon. And uh, make sure you let me know in the comments if you want me to do any of the series I mentioned at the beginning. So uh, peace, guys. See you next time.